to um, come show your support today for NC. Um, we're a band called Wayland, and we've always been a philanthropic band. Uh, we've had some great touring success and great radio success. Uh, giving back is very important to us. And recently, um, Alyssa came into our lives as our manager and my girlfriend. Comes from a past of domestic violence, sexual abuse. Um, so obviously, it hit really close to home for the band and for us. We recently got involved with a charity called Forever Found, that whose mission is absolutely to stop human trafficking all over the world. Um, the band has a song that we're about to put out called No More, uh, that we're very excited to, you know, as a band, that's about all we can, to start with, to have a song that gives, hopefully empowers and gives a voice to end that kind of thing. The thing with music, I mean, music's so, like, I can't play music, but it's, I love music and it's so important to me because it is so powerful. And I love that you do, you're making a song. So we, we kind of believe like the mu the music is the medicine and so we're Absolutely. working with as we work with these girls like you have to kind of go through this mentorship program and learn how to talk to them and how to actually like communicate and a lot of them aren't allowed around men after they've been rescued from these traffic situations so kind of giving them that song and explaining to them that these guys actually were able to help me these then become like almost like the men that they're first introduced back to to say like hey it's not all guys and this isn't such a bad thing so we're kind of using that song as kind of like the first dose of medicine that they maybe need to help recover I love that you're working with them because I, I bet that you are such so relatable to talk to these girls it's so helpful right and you know it's interesting for me because I came from a past of sexual abuse obviously and because of that my mom was very involved with kidnapped and trafficked girls my whole life um, and I wasn't able to escape that until almost into my 30s and it was the bands that helped me. So I was able to kind of walk away from a Fortune 500 job and my home and my life to say, hey, I can pick what I want to from job to partner and this can be healthy for me. So the full circleness of it is just really something that we support and we want to give back and have other people know that they can heal kind of like I did. You're making me cry because I'm just like so happy you do this. And, um Music, like you said, it is, I think, like the greatest medicine. It's very powerful, and I think that over the years we've kind of, in any band or artist, makes that choice of what you want to use that superpower for. You know, it could be for selfish reasons, or it could, you could literally change the world if we want to, right? I, I just have, like, the most admiration and respect for people, whether you're a musician, actor, writer, whatever. If you put that talent to something that really will change people, and you obviously, absolutely, that's what you're doing. It means so much. And thank you for that, because I think it's so... So uh, it's amazing to meet people like Elizabeth, uh, who we've gotten to know over the last year, and she's, you know, obviously has that same vision, the same goals, and the same kind of heart. Yeah. Where are, on, online can we find out about the new song and everything? Uh, do you have the organization you're involved with, if people do want to support it? So, yeah, so, so right now we are going through a six-week program that basically kind of allows us to be in that space with these girls. Um, and we're going to be sharing that journey of what we're doing and how we're coaching it through Whale on the Band on social media and our website. Um, and as we perform for ladies on Skid Row and we work with the children's hospitals for ladies that have been impregnated by things like this, we're going to be kind of documenting that um, on all our socials and then releasing that song probably end of 2019, early 2020. I can't wait to hear it, but thank you so much. Thank um, you. It's so lovely to meet both of you. Thank you for doing that. Yes.